what is up guys adi partner here and today i'm going to tell you 10 steps to prevent your phone from getting hacked let's get started these days there is a lot of hacking happening out of 10 phones two or three phones are always hacked so i'm going to tell you 10 methods to prevent your phone from getting hacked Watch the video till the end and you'll get to know all the information. So the first step you should take is to fix your password. Your password should be pretty strong. It should have lots of numbers, characters and letters. The more the numbers, characters and letters, the uh, stronger your password is. So keep in mind to fix your password. So the second step you should take is to keep a different password for each and every account. If a hacker hacks one of your account, all of your accounts won't get hacked and they would be secure. But if you keep the same password for each and every account, the hacker will be able to hack all your accounts by a single password. So remember to keep a different password for each and every account. So the third step you should take is to enable two or three factor authentication. So the fourth step you should take is to be sure of the Wi-Fi you connect to. You never know if the hacker is monitoring that Wi-Fi. Try not to connect to the Wi-Fi's of coffee shops, airports, train stations, etc. You never know if the hacker is monitoring that Wi-Fi. So the fifth step is to disconnect Bluetooth when not in use. So the sixth step is to always download applications from trusted sources like the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store because you never know if a developer is putting any malware or any type of virus in the application. So the seventh step is to always update your phone software as soon as the update comes because every new update has a uh, new security update. So the eighth step is to never give permissions to unused apps. So the ninth step is a really important step. Most of the people don't follow this step and it harms your phone. So the ninth step is to never ever charge your phone in public places when the cable is not yours. Because if you charge your phone in public places when, you're, when the cable is not yours, you give the whole phone's access to that wire or cable and it can harm your phone. It can bring in malware, virus, spyware and any other threat to your phone. So always remember this. So the tenth step and the final step is to use a strong password on your smartphone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like my video. Please give a subscribe to my channel. It's not that difficult. Yeah, why? Yeah, why?